uh, have, hello everyone. So I'm going to show you how to use Flex and Bison to create a parser. So let's say that you have your Lex file like this and you have some regular expressions and we're going to turn these regular expressions into a parser. So using bison. So we're going to create our our file, parse it up y. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do percent curly brace and then percent n curly brace. Put inside it pound includes didio.h. And then <coughs> we're gonna create a very simple ground list. So we're gonna do start program uh, and then program uh, empty. So it's not, it's just gonna do an empty, it's just gonna do nothing. It's gonna pause nothing. And then yy pause like that. So we're going to modify our make file. So bison dash t dash d dash v parser uh, dot y. And that should compile. As you can see, a bison is just like flex. It generates a bunch of C code for us, just like the way that Flex does. And this is all the code for the bottom up parser generated. So parser.y, let's go back to parser.y. Uh, let's run the parser, so let's figure out if we can compile the parser. So we need to, we need to do G++. Uh, parser.tab.c dash lfl in addition. So make and error. Why it is not declared in the scope. So going back to the flex file, I believe that maybe this is what I need to do. Oh yeah, and then afterwards I need to do uh, void yy error const char s then we just print up error percent s like that Okay, so that got rid of that error. So now we need to make sure that the other one error, the other, the other error is okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to the Lex file. Let's get rid of the main. And it still hates me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we need to do yylx, just like that. Just like that. Yep, and once I put the header file, uh, once I put the header function into the pos, then it finally compiles. So if I do a dot out, I don't know. Yep, it doesn't do anything. So right now we have an empty grammar, so let's create some grammar rules for this. So let's go back to our Alexa. 
instead of printing it out, we want to return a token. So we define tokens in device and files. So we're going to define percent token, uh, ident, uh, and then another token called number. And then we are going to return ident. And number just like that and so if we do something in program like let's say identify the role ident number ident number it should work so the grammar for that type of language will be something like well let's just print out something just print out something so program ident number ident number like that uh, yeah so as you can imagine the grammar is very simple here it is something like Bob one two three Alice three two one and that's the grammar that is being identified by the parser. So if we hit make, let's see what happens. So Bob, one, two, three, Alice, three, two, one. And there's a syntax error. Huh. Oh, I mixed. Yeah. Let them. It should be number and ident, like that. Bob, one, two, three, Alice, three, two, one. Yep, program ident number, uh, no, program ident number, ident number. So if I do something, back, if I do it the other way, so three, two, one, Bob, Alice, and one, two, three, then it's an error because this program can only identify the sequence ident, number, ident, number. So let's make a slightly more complicated example. So I'm going to write an extremely simple programming language. So add dot, I don't know, lang. Let's make a very simple language where the func is main and it's just an empty function. So, also dot y. Let's change the. So we're gonna go back and forth between our lex and pos files. So in here we're going to create a func, and we're gonna just return func, a func keyword like that, and then token func like that. Uh, we're gonna have a left bracket. L paren and or and also an or paren. And in here, we're going to create a token. As always, uh, the left paren is defined in the parser, and then it is pos and it's passed to the lex and it's passed to, to the lexa using pound include parser .tab .h. We're also going to create some curly braces. Let's all l curly and r curly. We're gonna take this and we're gonna. Place that we're going to declare them in over here. So token and then token. And in our parser, we're going to define the grammar of this. We're going to define the grammar. So func uh, ident uh, l paren right paren l curly r curly. And because and then this program's grammar is going to be program 
func ident left paren right paren l curly right curly. So what this what this grandma is defining is gonna be like something like func function name with the curly braces, and then this step this is what the grammar identifies and tries to pattern match it against. So if we do, if we do, so now if we make and we try to do a dot out, and then this symbol down here, it's the less than symbol, and this means take the file and take the contents of this file and put it down and put it through the standard input. And as you can see, we have add.lang, which is a func main. It's an empty function. We take the parser, we put it through the parser, and it correctly identifies what the program is. So let's now try and do a function with multiple. Let's try to do multiple functions. So in order to do multiple functions, let's do program is functions. So a function, which is singular. Let's have, create a function that is singular. And then let's have functions. Let's define what a functions is. So we're going to define the functions recursively. So function functions and then or empty. So print uh, functions, function, functions, just like that, or right up, functions empty. We're going to go down here and print out a program functions, just like that. Make a dot out dot length, and it still works. So let's add more functions to our program. So add, and then these are all empty functions. Add a dot out, add dot length. So yep, as you can see here, we take functions, uh, we pass three functions. So it identifies one function, identifies two functions, identifies three functions. We go to, and then it combines all the functions together, and then we get a program. Uh, so parser dot y. 